Hello, I'm Chris, and today I'm doing a video on a manual conversion, an automatic to manual conversion. So I assume you already bought all your linkage and everything, your pedals are in the car. You're at this step now where you're trying to figure out what you're going to do with the column. Okay, I'm going to show you what to do. We're going to go ahead and put all this stuff on the car. I'm going to show you that later, but we're going to go over the basic stuff first. Loosen this thing up right here. We're going to get this loose. It has two uh, 3 8 bolts, like uh, these kind of bolts. All right, get that loose. All right, and these are the bolts that go on the firewall in case you don't have them or don't know if it's... They look like this. They're the only bolts on the car that look like this. I don't know if that's like a quarter inch coarse thread, like some wood screws or whatever, but sheet metal screws. But that's what they look like if you don't have them. These are going to go five of them holding this piece down on to the firewall. Get this piece where it does this. And see right here. See right there? You got a circle. See that circle? way this is going to work is there's three holes on this boot cover this comes in a kit three holes and that circle would have been taken out on a on a uh, standard car so this was an automatic floor shift car floor shift column so if you're really trying to understand it go ahead and kind of put your screws in there just getting an understanding of what this is where to put it okay so if you got the hole right there I've heard uh, I've never seen one in real life but I've heard 1.8 inch to 2 inches same damn thing 1.8 inch 2 inch right there eh, don't matter because this is going to cover it Take it out. Over this, but the firewall is going to be in front of it, so it doesn't go in from the inside. Anyway, just understanding that. Drill this hole out. We're going to put a little hole in there first. Pilot hole. Always eyeball it the best you can. Put a mark on it. like to see it done to feel confident. Well, whatever the hell you want to do. I'm just going to, I bought like literally a two inch. They had 1.75, but I want the hole pretty damn big because you really don't know where that rod's going to be. Drilling holes and then trying to. That's bullshit. It takes forever to do shit like that. See? Now we got a beautiful hole. So, there you go. See the column that I restored in another video? Show you how to do this thing completely 100%. Alright, so now we have the column ready to go back in the car and we're gonna get our friend here again, our boot. And I'm about to put the column in, got the pedals, everything in. There's another video I have showing you uh, what you need to know about this part right here. Got the brake booster, all this stuff is set up. See that brake booster seal thing coming through the firewall like that? Make sure you have that. You want to go ahead and put all your freaking insulation in here and get it ready. I have the under dash in it, the firewall, everything new. Uh, we're going to get this cool looking boot thing. We're gonna get it in there first, get a feel of it. It's gonna angle downward. And we're gonna kinda of just get an idea of where it's gonna go. Right here, I see the three holes. One, two, three. So it's gonna go like that. We're gonna look at the other angle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down. I'm gonna put the column through here.
All right, see the holes, three holes where the hole is. We're just gonna put them back over there, line them up and screw all this back down. Five screws like this. Just starting them for right now. All right. You need help like that. All right, now you get this other one that's for the carpet hole down, so don't lose that. That's all in there loosely. Okay. You can see the hole now. I forgot to deburr that. I'm gonna deburr that. But uh, now we go ahead and put the clutch rod right through it. Well, let's test fit this first. Okay, it's got a it's got a square cut out for your rod. Cool. All right, we're not done with all this. We're just, I'm just showing you that that hole's there. Like this, with a zigzag right at the firewall. Yeah. Dude, all this could be hard. Oh yeah, that's it. That was kind of a bitch. Remember to put your clip on there. I'm gonna go through all this later. Damn. Just perfect. This still needs to be squished up in there, but there you go. Bracket right there. I'm hoping it goes on the bottom, not on top of that, but anyway. What Got that fastened down. Got the, uh, this comes in the kit, the bracket, and then that comes in the kit. I put some thread locker on it because it's really hard to tighten it so be aware of that and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the linkage together and all this in here it's in there works feels good got this bracket on the frame 68 to 72 got this tightened in there I'm gonna go through just the Z bar just what you need to know if you're setting it up on a Chevelle. Yeah, and I have the assembly manual, so this isn't a guess bullshit video. Make sure everything is clean inside there. I had to re-thread that grease fitting. It was one eighth of an inch national pipe threads. Now, I'm in a close little space right here. Put one of these in there. Ball. I'm not going to be able to do it for the video, but it's going to have this piece in there. And you're going to need to get a socket or something to push this in because it's going to have a clip. Where's the damn clip at? Okay, it's going to have a clip that's going to have a little place in there that when, you, when you're about to install this. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because the proper way that this goes has two holes in the bottom. This goes in the bottom hole. Like I said in the assembly manual, this is supposed to go on the other side, but it didn't, it didn't line up that good like that on mine. Two holes, one hole for the top. We got the clutch 
earlier in the video we put all this crap on with the dust boot like it's supposed to be this needs to be on a pretty damn good ways that's why i'm making this video and you can see like right there let's go to hook this up ow you can even see, oh yeah you can see a little bit see that's the problem is i didn't like this being right there because this is barely hanging on right here so I put six flat washers to push it about right there now this is comfortably on there and it's also lining this up well I guess I can oh yeah Alright. So I came up with mine. I'm gonna go ahead and put it together for people that don't know. Uh, take this back up. Oh, now it wants to be hard. Undo this. Oh. Six is what I came up with. Put this back in the slot. Put it where it needs to be. Just showing you things you might run into when you're adjusting this clutch or putting this on for the first time. Probably could use another one, to be honest with you, but. Oh crap, that's because it does have another one. That was seven, I'm sorry, not six. Get all this like squished. All right. Now we got another flat washer just for like uh, protection or precaution, and then the uh, lock washer, and then the three eighths coarse nut. Let's go ahead and kind of tighten all this down. Oh, that damn lock washer. We're gonna put this on later. Wiggle it around, make sure it's all seating in place. Okay. And uh, that's the reason I'm making this video because the assembly manual says to put this on this side, but you can see straight up and down. Well, you can barely see it, but if it was on that side, it would be a really big angle to it. But maybe that's how it's supposed to go on. I don't know. Please, somebody comment. Just showing you. Clutch linkage. Bracket. Block. And space it out a little bit. Straight up and down. If that's anybody building one of these cars that might not know. Oh, yeah. That's me. Look over it from the dust boot, see the dust boot, boot coming through. The way the Z bar, one hole at the top, bracket, frame mounted. This is just a, one of the $350 kits they sell. Where it's bolted on the block, you got two places in the block for this. All this is in line and it looks real good. There's also a spring on it. I'm not gonna hook it up yet until I get everything in here. But I just have it around this for right now. Take it off. So I'm gonna wait till I put the header in and all that. Anyway, it's about it. 